guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so we got um i i came on to my the save a last yesterday after i was i was already in the game i was just like uh noticed remembered that i was going to refine a bunch of that rusted metal down and the um slime so i ended up doing that on and off until i got it all smelted down and we got quite a bit of um materials we got bunch of pure ferrite I uh, was able to get some uh, magnetized ferrite from it and a lot of the regular stuff with addition I was sitting here doing nothing pretty much so I got a little bit bored so I ended up adding an expansion to our uh, house over here for basically whatever we need to use for it um, with that being said I want to put windows in these parts um, big windows and we're going to need to find some base components to actually do that with uh i put the uh signal booster because I don't really need it on us all the time and just basically move the portal a little bit so it's facing this way just a little better aligned and stuff just minor stuff uh just to clean up the place a little bit more and we still need to unlock wooden um small panels for the floors there there's just something i need to work on that for the moment but we'll fix that up later on i'm not too worried about it at the moment but yeah it looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with it uh one of the things that i wanted to do though today is uh find some tech modules and uh if i can get one of these built uh which we should actually have what we need for it oh no actually that's the refiner i don't want that one uh, I want uh, to make one of those, which is the oxygen harvester, which will give us a supply of oxygen for carbon. And now that we have a refiner, we can easily get carbon uh, from refining oxygen and concentrated carbon will give us like times two, I think, or times three, one of the two of the um concentrated carbon so we can easily make that up uh with just the refiner and some oxygen which goes back into our system and then we have a steady supply of carbon so there you go uh but we need an oxygen farm or a harvester in order to make that work so we need to work on that today and i need to calculate how much uh dihydrogen we're going to need we might be able to purchase them some, some of that and just make the components um can't remember what we're going to need for that. So these, we need carbon and dihydrogen. That We need five of those. So looking at about 100 carbon and five dihydrogen. For Thank you. 
Alright, so I got the um, oxygen farm built. Uh, we were able to get that all started and it's starting to produce a little bit of oxygen. It doesn't take too long to actually generate um, 250, so we should have a pretty good study of supply of it. And the nice thing about oxygen is a lot of the basic materials like concentrated carbon, um, other materials like um, chromatic... Chrom Chromatic? I think it's chromium or I don't know we don't have any to actually read it so basically that uh, shiny metal um, that's used in a lot of recipes and stuff uh, you can I think duplicate that as well if you add oxygen and there's a few other recipes that oxygen could be combined with a two slot refiner like this some even can go with a three slot refiner but a lot of the recipes you can just multiply things with oxygen which is awesome so uh, we'll be getting some concentrated carbon for the first batch, I think, and we'll probably save about 150 for ourselves because we're running low on that, and then we'll use the remaining 100 for duplicating the concentrated carbon, which we'll be able to go ahead and continue feeding that system. So that's the plan, at least. Um, we have two tech two salvaged data that we can basically go ahead and um, go ahead with um, seeing if we can't unlock that glass uh, for the window but I did get the parts in that we needed I unlocked that through the base computer it was something that we could unlock down here but the particular window that I want is not listed in this list so we're gonna have to go to Space Anomaly for that one, I think. And we'll see if we can't get that particular piece. Um, outside of that, there's not much else here I really need for the wooden structures, but we'll see what other components we can get uh, while well, we're there. We only have like two, so we might want to go ahead and fly somewhere in this world and just land and then maybe spawn in our uh, rover and try to get that maybe some extra ones I think we can spawn it in can't we yeah as long as it's on the same world I think we'll be able to spawn it in with that particular thing there but I'm gonna wait until this is all um, finished and then I'll go ahead and start working on that I think because I don't want to leave this area without having you know some oxygen on us and uh, we're running pretty low on it. We have like 18 left, so we could use the oxygen for sure. Even if it's 150, it was, it's still better than nothing. So. Alrighty then, so I parked here and I ended up going around uh, the valley around here and just kind of uh, picked up a fair amount of uh, salvage data. So I also found a couple no good nodes of um, oxygen, so we were able to pick a whole bunch of that up so we can use that for making concentra concentrated carbon and uh, maybe keep a bow 500 of it in our storage so we have, you know, spare oxygen. Uh, for when we need it. 
But uh, let's go to the Space Anomaly and we'll go ahead and see if we can't get those windows unlocked. Uh, I'm not sure where I put it. Can't remember where, but it might be, yeah, it might be a little bit further from where we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spawn it in here and then we can easily get to the Space Anomaly. Whoop. Oh, that was close. Let's try that again. The only part I don't like about the space anomaly is it usually sub like slows slows you down the closer you get to it. Like it's good for making sure you don't fly into it, but doesn't seem to really have any effect when you're so far away, just when you're close to it, so. Alright, so we're here. We can start, we can go into the back area and then we can see if we can't get those windows unlocked. I didn't know how much we're, like, salvage day we were, we're going to need to use. So, I wanted to get a, a fair amount, just so we could get what I want, but... While we're here, we can see what else we can unlock and stuff if we have anything left over. So, I want... Let's see here. Where's all the wooden stuff? Uh, we have wooden parts here. Okay, the window that I want is down here, so I'm glad I picked up quite a few of it. So, we'll go with that. Go with that one. That one. And that one. Okay, so we have like 20 left over. Um, hmm. Not sure what I want to unlock. We could hide the wires if we purchase that. Uh, mineral, mineral extractor. I don't know if we have any nearby minerals, to tell you the truth. But it m might be something we could start investing in. then so we got uh, what we needed I got the base parts unlocked I also got a couple other things uh, there is a surveying device uh, that we can put on our multi-tool um, which will allow us to find nodes for 
um, concentrated minerals and stuff like that. So we'll be able to discover gas and minerals as well as electricity. So, uh, but we don't have that much room for a multi-tool. So I kind of want to try finding a at least a class B multi-tool where it's a assault rifle so we can have a little bit more room with that. Um, with that, though, I also got a couple other things unlocked. We got the mineral extractor and a supply depot, and we also got the supply pipe, as well as some other base parts that we needed to unlock the windows with. So we got the windows, those parts, um, I think those doors uh, down here. And that's about it. I also unlocked that today as well, so... And I think that's about it. That's all I unlocked. We built that uh, oxygen generator. And I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, yeah. I have to put that back. I was uh, putting in a window here. I was wanting to see if I could actually do an excluded window out like I did on this one. But it would obstruct the, um, the way up. So I didn't bother with it. Uh, what I will do, though, is quickly put this back over... We'll put it over here, I think. Or on that side. Out of the way. And I replaced the roof with... Um, what do you call it? Uh, just regular... Just regular floors. So if we decide to go up one more floor, we'll have the floors already made. So I think I might eventually do that when we start dipping into... Um, like the farming equipment and stuff like that. We should have enough room underneath here to, um, let's just test that quickly. Yeah, we should have plenty of room. Yeah, that should work, I think. Okay, so we, we can at least go up one more floor until we reach that platform and then we can go up even more if we wanted to. We could even have a little entrance way onto that platform if we wanted to. But uh, yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.